so let's start the inspection for the vehicles this is the first time first car in the early morning Porsche Macau 2021 the bad accident from this car in here and the tire and everything is damaged on well, this car bumper and everything you can see that as you see that the early things so so it's so not so properly repaired it's the front side properly damaged Key not found. It's happened. The key in here. The key is here. And then why is not showing? The key is not found. Let's start it. We have some special place for it. Bad smoke. What's happening in this car? It's around 2000. String model, especially 22, 21 model is this car. And something badly happened in the engine. Can you see that? Here and everything is okay. See, you can see that the airbag is damaged. A lot of engine control valves and and something engine check lights. So I think there is not one issue. Have a lot of issue on this vehicle. In this car, it's unbelievable. But this is imported car. US import car um, that's why it has some major fall in the engines I want the front body is accident repaired and the frame the frame is properly repaired you can see the time back side is I will call to my assistant here when you give the race. Very bad smoke. It's smoke like you know, dirty. So it's fine. Already I mentioned that all comments in here for this car, and because this car is not able to register easily, uh, they should have to get up rules for the CCM. And if the CCM is passed, then they can after register this car because. There is something happen in the chassis, even in the engine, and other things. So let's find. Let's go back to start the other car. We're going back to start new inspection for the other car. So now we have an OD. OD out. It's not looking bad. This car is also have something in this car. After that we have uh, 
Range Rover Evoque, I think. So we'll start it for this car. Let's go to start inspection for this car. That's the interior for this car. Around everything you should have to check properly. This thing working, dashboard, AC and everything. Like something is missing in this one. The gray portion, we should have to explain this, mention this in the remarks. Because that's kind of small thing. It can make issues for uh, your, uh, when the customer is checked the uh, inspection report. So they can make it easily issue. Uh, for any kind of car, so must you have to mention about the small portion, sport portion. It's very small, but you have to mention this. The sport is missing. And after that, let's start the car. That's the car we have to start it now. Okay, this is easiest almost on already on so we go slow back and everything down it's properly working let's check the sunroof uh, we've been here for this that's the sunroof most thing that you have to mention about the sunroof and everything Otherwise, it can make an issue other in for the inspection because our inspection is belong to the uh, CC uh, comprehensive test. That's, that's why we need to check it so that everything is fine, uh, and we need to mention everything it so that and the remarks are in the report. Let's check the audio for this car. Currently unable, unable, and. I don't think that's something in fiction. Uh, right there, everything is working and properly does everything, something. Gloss, you have to check every gloss is working. It's perfectly working and that's the it's folding is working and both sides is working and also they are working both is working so it's perfectly everything is fine that's from interior side you see the seat adjustment in here and look on this and that's the adjustment is working perfectly how to check this one by one like massage and the pressing machine and everything is working nicely so something can happen this yeah it's perfect so this was a little bit due, different time um, let's start the small inspection for this for this comprehensive test for this vehicle and uh, uh, it was the interior for this car there's nothing something major uh, issue on the interior um, uh, we will try the car a little bit i have to check like it started from here i'm going to check this is uh, the drive drive the car the first thing i found this in this car the, the brake the brake is spongy so something problem in the brake pad or in the abs Okay, it's 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 not working. So it means the the first uh, remorse in this car, the brakes pretty is spongy, and the second, I'm going to check the car, the gear about the gear. There is any jerk in the gear or not? So I think it's fine. Smaller jack on this car, the girl. So, and finally, exactly is okay. That car. It's 
little is minor joke in this car and so almost uh, check the light and everything so let's still drive the car for this car let's go on the front side and start the inspection from the body check the body pan and everything and then we will show what is the actual thing in here I bring on the lift so I keep on the parking now something and brake terrible about this one okay let's go out and start the inspection for this vehicle currently have to check on the left properly it's here so it's perfectly okay on the so always you have to focus in here and be careful about like when you park the car when you leave the car on the left be uh, make sure that is on the right position like here that's the thing you can see on the both side it's perfectly okay and it's shame that you have to focus on the, the car and check properly uh, when you start the inspection and when you're going to lift the car so before that you have to make sure that your car is in the right position so let's Let's start. I'm going to show you turn. This car, you already mentioned body portrait pan and everything. You know, the best thing because for the pan, because he already checked. But I'm gonna show you back again with the paint thickness for this car on the look line. Because uh, my purpose is that to provide you proper information about the uh, inspection for the comprehensive. This is not a uh, registration inspection. It's comprehensive test is for customer request but first you have to check that's the tire the tire should be not more than five years 2022 model so it means it's brand new check here so you walk up here in this area that's the thing this Cannot find easily something spot, so that's why you make sure there's everything. Have you checked the roof? The roof handle uh, not properly, like something portion is repainted. Look at the reference for this car seven in here, and the other body is here four or five. So it is how something will be with issue. Be aware about like this car, uh, especially for the for the Audi and Volkswagen. They have different design of the pillars, the cover. So you cannot open the the cover, the, the beading of the pillars and the interior car. So uh, for inspection, comprehensive test, you can check easily. That's from interior side. Check, make sure that 
there is not something repaired otherwise you will got a big trouble uh, if you miss something in here in this area because in this area especially from here this becoming two type of body joints two pieces some of the car they carry from here in the middle uh, so you cannot cage it easily because mostly of the new models they have a full cover under body and uh, also this area so be aware similar length there yeah. now the check here the same area in here now we check properly this area. So not well, something special in here. The focus in here also the chassis number is located in here all this area um, I will show you later after this is the last option is located the chassis This through three things like you should how to know conforming how to conform about the cylinder of the vehicle CC and um, three other stuff like a brothers this car is um, European car but especially made for GCC so you have to uh, check this models properly uh, it is located that car we was belong to this car is made by which country so this is calling GCC because everything is there Writing in the Arabic words, the phone and everything language is there. So, especially for GCC Gulf Country, Middle East, and others, you have to make sure about the the engine. Like we add in here, this is only we add. You have to make sure about the engine is at cylinder so one, two, three, four, and you can overlay it from here. Some of the car have that kind of design at this kind of one, two, three, four, five. The other thing, the major thing, I don't know about the battery for this car, the battery is there on the car, but this is the plus line. So if you don't have the battery for this, you have to connect here and then this is the battery line. Remember that you can connect the uh, plus line in here and the, the cold line, you can connect it here. So that's the simple thing. Our job is providing you know, the, the rules of inspection for this car. So let's let's go back to close the car and then we will start the inspection. Chances, no chances for this. Yeah, both the tactile, yeah. This all is aluminium, the body is aluminium and everything. So if there is have some repair you can catch it easily. This car is aluminium. The frame is aluminium and everything. But you have to check this bonnet is refitted or not. It's clearly clean this bonnet. Make sure about the fender and everything is layer similar like you have to come on this side and check properly the frame in this just the frame area this one properly this check it here there's something
Let's check the Tesla's number for this car reader really located here. It's H. Pass. Anyhow, though. Keep on the front side. The seat is very back. close and coming from behind yes that's area you can see that's area that's I think nobody's open this right wait I I have to take the screwdriver Chest is number in here. You can see clearly then. The main thing for this, sometime is coming the chest is number area repair or something around this. So you know what you how to make sure that the important thing for this car is the model some of the people they create the new model they change the model uh, through by the VIN number they change in one of the digits the font uh, and they replace the model through by the VIN so the people they cannot catch uh, and easily they can replace the model so if we first that uh, the time the, that kind of lot of issue and we catch uh, a lot of things that kind of so be aware and be careful about this kind of thing because the chassis number and the VI number is not uh, very easy and don't take it easy because it's very important I think someone has put the car in here Close back. Close back. And bring this on the same position. This is your duty and your job to bring everything on the same position back because this is our duty. It's your responsibility and be honest with your job and your duty. Let's go. Lift the car. I'm gonna to lift the car up. That's the thing. Yes, I will show you how something. You can see clearly.
are going to check from here, 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 here. I didn't find something in here. Oh yes. Actually there is something repair in this area. You know this area? Down this area is repair. And something in here. Let's check to the same other area. Thing here is okay but this car have an issue on the left side area let's come from back Look it, it's completely covered. It's like before I tell you that about uh, it's under floor is fully covered for the new cars 80 and others. So you cannot kick in something easily. That's the major thing. Like for the inspection, for the normal registration, how to check axles, the axle and the uh, arm bushes. This is the arm. This arm, this is the payment. Uh, the bushes for the shocks leakage you have to check that floor that's the main area okay you focus here on the uh, floor and the pace make it check this the pace is something different and different now there's the timber you see that's the exhaust and everything there yeah. Very different type of this car. I've already got it. You can see, look at just the, the thing in here. It's not so easy. Something happened. Because our first priority is that the frame. We need to check how it looks like the frame is perfect or not in something. After this, have a little bit spine at it. You can see this. That's the, the shocks, the warm bush. You can see that. It's clearly damaged. Similar light to the other side. Have you seen that? It's badly damaged. Doubt about this area because it's very hard to progress.
this car is going to complete now for inspection because everything I put it very mouse and everything here. One more. Now is the number of Range Rover Evoque. You can see here. Start. the jerk on this car yeah. okay <laughs> a very major jerk in this scale you can see look at look at one more try so it's a not normal jerk something big and I care and have a lot of warning lights on the display not in only sticker in here You have a doubt about this? Take on this car. Check properly. Like here, one, two, three, four. 
exactly is frozen in one, two, three, four. Means I calculated one, two, three, four. Quite as far. So if you don't know easily, then you can find out this number of cylinder. That's the easy way. Some of the core of the sun. So you cannot go on easily. Okay, that's the turn. Mr. T. Tire. You can see that's the tire. You did 22 and 5 week. Slip fresh motor times 22. Uh, model careful What do you think about this? Accident. This is also repeated. Both is dependent, but condition is. You see, this window is repeated. This is repair. This is repair. And this is also repaired. It's plastic. It's plastic. That's you can cannot check the paint for this. So I mean, this is front and back accident. Um, let's go to left the car. How is the condition from the outside? I mean, yes, I have to check in here. I think from upper side is okay. Let's check from down. Look like
area. Sunday. Bag accident mentioned that.
So finally, it's complete the inspection for this car. Comprehensive test. Uh, we got navigation in this car. We find out something like a, a major problem in the left side, right side chassis in the frame area. And have a little slightly bend and outer portion area is minor dent. So because it can be acceptable for um, this, uh, uh, it can be able to pass and register in and, and the Gordon and department. But uh, as per customer request, like as you like to the customer, customer request, like what he wants, he wants to buy this car, or he wants to register, or it's like uh, this inspection is for customer request. So that's why uh, we need to mention clearly about A to Z and one by one. Uh, and one small and major and big issue so I hope uh, you will enjoy and you will like my videos uh, and I will, I will try my best to do to provide you uh, good uh, information and uh, provide you a new video about uh, one car one or two car uh, because uh, uh, per day I comp I, I'm, I'm doing per day is around 20-25 uh, cars uh, for inspection as a comprehensive test not uh, only I just make it one video or two video for a two car and three car so not a big target oh, I hope I think the summer is very hot
So finally we complete the inspection for this car and now we're going to drive and the duty time is over and we are going to New Law and tomorrow we will uh, again provide you on V video for two or three car inspection. And just end up for today because our duty time is done. One more we have Chrysler. Chrysler. So we will start from here tomorrow. We start to just look. We start to add B. So tomorrow, inshallah, we will get start from here. You can see like it. This is for tomorrow. Hopefully, you will like and you will enjoy our videos. going to leave a little bit for a while, let's 